We have spent millions of dollars getting all the answers that you and every single person that you deal with needs to know. If they have a question, we have an answer. We don't accept wives' tales. There's a lot of, of garbage that's out there on silver. There's a couple things that are very important to know. First of all, there are thousands of silver companies out there, thousands of them. And the first thing that you'll get is that they put up two arguments, okay? The first they'll say, everything has to do with particle size. It's not true. Second thing they say is they have a big war of ionic versus colloidal, okay? A big group says ionic silver, which is a chemical type of silver, is better. The other, colloidal silver. What we're going to do today is we're going to raise you above that entire level. The new silver solution is exactly that. It is a new silver solution. It's an engineered silver nanoparticle that can do things that no other silver solution that you have seen or heard of can do. Last year, we met with the US Congress. They asked our company to come in and testify. We didn't ask, they asked us. A small company that you've never heard of was asked to go in and testify before a congressional committee because of the fact that we had proven that our product would cure full-blown malaria in an average of five days. Malaria is the second leading cause of death by infection on this planet. What I want you to know and what I wanted you to understand with this presentation is that the product you have is very unique. Nobody has this. We can do things that nobody else can do. We have the gall to think that we can change the medicinal history of the world. And we are proving that we can do it. We're a little company you've never heard of. That little company met with the Surgeon General of the United States twice last year. Okay? In our congressional testimony, the Surgeon General of the U.S. Air Force stated to the U.S. government, in section 14 of that, if you read it, that it will kill anthrax, bubonic plague, SARS, and that the U.S. government ought to put it in.